and good day today we're having a look at this it's a newer four-way focusing rail and uh, hopefully it'll be good it'll be enabling me to do some nice close-up photos and a bit of macro work so let's have a look oops what have we got here okay nothing else in the box a bit of cover um, instruction manual we'll have a look what have we got here tool of some description Allen key and the unit itself that's interesting now hopefully this will be okay it uh, feels quite solid actually no movement in it no free play which is good nothing at all and this is what came in the little plastic bag just a bit of customer service uh, thing so you got your emails and whatever your accounts your phone numbers this is the instruction manual and it looks like one side is completely Chinese and the other side is in English which is the one I'm interested in so we'll have a bit of a look a bit of a read of it of course and put it to practice see if we can make head and a tail of it eh? now I've had a bit of a look at the instructions and uh, they say that this unit can hold up to 10 kilo um, so that's quite a lot of weight also says it can be separated into two separate pieces so it's interesting we got a quarter inch mount and a 3 8 inch mount on it obviously we got left and right and backwards and forwards so we've got a few different uh, movements that we can do we've got an adjusting knob on the side that uh, takes everything nice and slow in one direction or the other and as you can see how slow that's moving and the other way here again give you an idea so I'm going to take it outside and set it up and see if we can do a couple of photos with it and uh, I'll come back and hopefully uh, show you what it can do soon find out to get your focus in get the camera going okay now you can use your button to take your photo or obviously um, electric trigger is much better but you can adjust your focus this is set on manual so as you're going down you can actually move along the flower and set it to stack your images now if we're not directly in line with the plant itself or whatever you're taking a photo of you can move left and right as well now, there's a bit of wind out at the moment so I'm not overly not overly happy as one would say and I haven't got my remote trigger with me so I'm going to have a bit of difficulty trying to get a decent photo I'll try and do a bit of stacking if I can have to wait for the wind to stop in the right spot. So much movement. It was funny when I came out earlier there was uh, no wind. <laughs> so within a couple of minutes it's gone from nothing to ridiculous. I took seven individual photos and it was rather difficult to get uh, decent ones because of the wind. And here is the final stacked photo. Hopefully you can see a bit of a difference. So a four-way focus rail is a great addition to any photography kit, especially if you're into macro photography. It makes getting the images nice and sharp a lot easier so that you can put them into your stacking uh, software and produce decent images out of it. Now, if you have any questions regarding uh, this newer you know, focus rail, feel free to drop a comment below. I'll do my very best to answer each and every question. And hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, thumbs up, thumbs down, either way, doesn't matter, whatever you prefer. 
Hopefully, I'll get to see you on the very next video. That's assuming you're actually subscribed. If you haven't, well, consider it now. I wouldn't say no to that. All the very best. Till next time, take care. Bye.